The K2 Process Portal is a SharePoint-based site that provides process administrators and users with a full view of information and reports about your deployed K2 processes. The Process Portal site can be created anywhere within your SharePoint environment and is configurable so that you can decide what processes you want to include and what information you would like to show. One of the tools available by default on the K2 Process Portal is the K2 Worklist web part. This web part is available here, but can also be added to any site in your SharePoint environment. The K2 Worklist provides users with a personalized view of all the tasks that have been assigned to them for any process deployed in the K2 environment. Tasks can be opened from here, but there are also several other features in the K2 Worklist to be aware of. The first feature is the ability to redirect a task. Redirecting a task to another user means you want to remove it from your work list and send it to someone else to do the work. To redirect a task, you select Redirect from the Item menu. The next screen allows you to search your environment for the user you'd like to send the task to. Clicking OK tells the K2 server to remove the task from your work list and place it on the other person's work list. Here, you can see that the Redmond Cycles contract review has been removed from Rainier's work list and now sits on Steve's work list, ready for him to take action. Next, we'll talk about delegation. Delegation is similar to redirection, but instead of completely removing the task from your work list, delegation allows you to add additional users that you want to take action on a particular task. To delegate a task, select Delegate from the item menu. As with redirection, you have the ability to search for the user or users you would like to delegate to. With delegation, you have the option of giving the new users access to do all the actions for the task, or to just give them access to certain actions. In this case, we want James to review the customer and either request more information or decline the request, but we do not want him to approve the request. Clicking on OK will add the task to James's work list, but we'll also keep the task on your work list so it's available to both of you. The K2 Worklist provides users with the ability to set an out-of-office status. Setting yourself to out-of-office allows you to select someone who should receive all your tasks while you are away, so your company's critical processes will continue to run smoothly. To set your status, click on the Configuration icon in the upper right corner of the web part and then select the Out-of-Office tab. Here you have the ability to search for the person who should receive your tasks. You can also set up rules to redirect tasks for different processes to different people. Once you've configured your out of office, your status will be displayed in the work list. Any new tasks that come in from this point on will be redirected to the person or people you chose. When you return to the office, any unactioned tasks will be moved back onto your work list once you've updated your status. Finally, we'll look at the ability to batch action tasks directly from the work list. For processes that have been configured by the designer with this capability, you can action a task directly from the work list without having to open the task form associated with it. The process designer has the option of selecting all or some of the actions to be available for batch actioning, and selecting the action from the task item menu works the same as actioning the task from the task form. This capability comes in handy if you're working with several process instances that you need to action quickly, as you can select the checkboxes next to each task and action them at the same time.